the girls from Muted Crane were bending over backwards this afternoon as they rehearsed their performance. The freelance dancers are in Dunedin for the Fringe Festival, taking the eye test to audiences outside Wellington for the first time. The three are joined by two others for a performance at the Fortune Theatre. Just wanted to show um, some some humanness through kind of raw physicality and we've used quite a spectrum of, of um, vocabulary. We've used speech and some gestural movement as well as some pretty extreme back bends. The dance itself explores learning within the human experience. I think it's about us trying to learn. As individuals we're constantly attracting the same things into our lives until we move past it and learn something so we can move forward. And so this white space that we're in is, is a representation of a space that we go to do that learning. Um, hopefully we move on. Ho hopefully. <laughs> Flaherty says each member of the dancers' audience can take what they will from the performance. I think there's a lot of different things that you can get. Each of the characters um, are, are very different and everyone we've had a lot of feedback that everyone relates to a different person in the show. So people will say, I love that, the guy who just cleaned, he's like, and so he was such a comfort to me. And others will find him really discomforting because they find him uncomfortable. So it's, it's really great that um, everyone comes out of it with a different experience. Muted Crane flies quietly at the fortune for just a few days as they try to wow Dunedin audiences. And whatever the response, the small dance company could never be accused of not putting body and soul into their performance. David Lockray, 39, Dunedin News.